Hello, I'm Feeder. My name is Morningstar. In case you didn't know, Space Marines is a normally 6v6 game style, but due to, since we're trying to make four teams, we are running 5v5, one commander, one heavy, one medic, one ammo, and then normally two scouts, but we're only running one scout because we don't have, because the second scout's a little optional depending on the size of your games you're playing. Puts the five in Space Marines five. First match of Greeley Goblins versus Fort Collins Calrissians. Uh, Fort Collins Calrissians are red team. They're missing Morgan, their captain, who is being replaced by Sergeant Tucker from the Loveland Phoenixes. Who is their captain, actually, funny enough. So yeah, let's take a look at our lineup here. Alrighty, so at the beginning of every game, what we tend to do is each team, every member of the team, uh, gets a double. What that is is one live, one shot. Uh, this just kind of sets everybody up so that when we go to take the third floor, um, everybody's kind of prepped and ready to go to fight. So it looks like we have Caleb coming up on the red side. He's coming around. He's going up to the third floor. He's coming in. He's running in. And it looks like he actually won his trade against our heavy. And uh, Morningstar there getting hit with a shot he didn't think was good. Yeah, I, and another. Uh, and yeah, Morningstar kind of got stuck in the blue closet there for a second. Um, but then the but then the pressure. red resupply is getting pushed out of chamber as Ryan was able to get in on them and push them out as the heavy. Yeah, they all kind of boxed up there in the fun box there for a second. Oh, it looks like we have they're stalling a little bit on the third floor. They're just kind of starting to get some control. Red, red resupply starting to panic around on. On second, getting pushed around a lot. Yeah, the realize they're getting pushed up the third floor and they're losing control. They're trying to make a desperate play. Here comes Caleb coming across the third floor. He's getting reset to death. Looks like he's going to set up in the fun box for a second to try and get some... Kiwi's getting close with a yep. quick base run at the start. Almost getting to her first nuke. Two yep. special points off. Kiwi ran up behind Caleb as he got set up in the fun box. Kept him down there for an extra second. That was really good. Both commanders are fairly equal on special points, except for Feeder has not gotten his bases, but he is a few points ahead on just pure using that extra time of not getting the bases well, to get like some resets. It looks like Feeder's getting in on the resupplies. They might be losing a little bit of control here. Yeah, actually, they might get a bit pushed down. Third looks pretty empty right now. Well, we have both of the red three shots up on third floor currently. C trains a scout, not the heavy. Oh, is he? Yeah. Yeah, never mind. Ignore me. Um, I believe green team is all huddled up in the fun box, or the big box currently. Um, they all got kind of pushed off there once Caleb got a foothold, kind of steamrolled us off. But, however, the red resupplies are on first, are, well, one of the red resupplies is on first with Sergeant Tucker going on a base run. So the red team's not really knowing where each other is currently by the looks of it. Yeah, but and that's a mistake because green team's getting set up right now. They're getting some gas in them, about to get pushed off back. But both commanders have their first nuke ready. They're one special point within one special point of each other, including bases. So we have Ryan getting set up on switchback. Green team's getting ready to push out. Caleb's coming in. Uh-oh. Oh, AJ noticed him in time. Good job. Green team's running into the issue of the, the while big box is a good area to resupply, you can get kind of fish in a barrel pretty quickly from the two ramps. And they're okay. starting to get into that spot where while they're getting their resupplies, they're getting pinned down. Yeah, it looks like Morningstar made the decision to run out of there and get some control up on the third floor. Both medics, however, are playing at nine lives currently, which is less than, which is, they've lost more than half of their starting lives. It's pretty, it's pretty quickly in this game. First nuke dropping from green team. Uh, that puts Feeder down to five lives and Sergeant Tucker, the medic, down to six. It's like Morningstar got pushed out of the fun box there by Feeder. Well, it does look like Green Team is coming back up to the third floor, trying to get some more control. Looks like Morningstar is going to pinch. Got one shot into Feeder. Feeder's However, now Feeder is out of shots with a nuke and a half, but can't do much with no shots. So it looks like he's going to retreat to the first floor. We got the Green Team getting set back up on the third floor. Looks like there's some crossfire across third with a red member in the fun box and three green members sitting up at big box it actually looks like green team is mobilizing to move down and follow red team onto the first floor the red team the four members are in blue cave getting some ammo back because of that confusion at the start of the game the, they are all running pretty low on shots except for caleb uh -oh, who's looks got like the ryan's 26. in ryan the heavy is in 
getting a lot of shots in, but... He's got a lot of resets off on the red resupplies. Neither of the green three shots, however, have dropped a missile yet, which is... Especially considering how Ryan got in there, you figured he would have tried to get a missile off. Ryan tends to play a little bit more uh, fast pace. He tends to keep players down as opposed to getting more points. Uh, which as a heavy tends to work really well. First penalty of the game on Deathspot 62. Not sure what it was for yet, but it is... It, uh, it, was, been a, it was a dangerous play. Gotcha. Sergeant Tucker, though, the Red Medic, at one life currently. That is uh, fairly dangerous, and it looks like from where how the Red team's playing, they are not entirely sure where he is. Yep, they're all pinned down. Into double the nuke, cave. though, from Red... Double nuke from feeder dropping that dropping Josiah the fear turkey down to two lives as he goes on a base run That's fairly dangerous Looks like Morningstar and fear turkey are trying to get their bases. I believe Josiah just died No, nope, oh, still alive fear turkey is still alive ignore me Both the heavy and the commander on red team though are out of shots. It's just Poor coordination between the team can really set you up. Doesn't matter how great the player is, you can't kill people if you don't have no shots. Correct. I also believe what ended up happening to you guys there is a green team ended up mobilizing very, very quickly after only getting a couple of doubles into their team once they got set up on the third floor and just kept a uh, consistent amount of pressure on you guys so you weren't able to get any gas. Kiwi's got another nuke and Sergeant Tucker just died. That means the red team is out of... Out of lives, they, how many, however many lives they have now, that is how many they have for the rest of the game. Looks like the Fear Turkey is out of shots as the Medic. Which means he can't resupply until he finds his ammo. I don't know where I was. And there he is. There's the ammo back with giving him some more shots. Yeah, we hooked up on the blue alley. He was screaming for shots because he just reset your guys' team. Morningstar has a boost and is not using it despite the fact that his heavy is at two shots. But that's probably the heavy not realizing that he's that low. Getting a resupply, though, so he's getting those shots back. Feeder, the red commander, is at three lives. All he, he's out of shots still. All he has is one missile. It's like the fear turkey's getting loaded up with some more shots. Even at two lives, he's pretending to keep the pressure. C-Train, Caleb, still trying to poke in, even though he's at six lives. He's getting a few... He got a couple lives off a couple people, but... Hard to do a lot of damage as a lone scout without not, without much backup and no rapid fire. It looks like Fear Turkey, the medic, actually just surpassed the ammo and points. Oh, and there goes a lot of a lot of points switching around there as C Train gets bases and Kiwi and Morningstar poke at, uh, Poe the heavy. Oh, both red three shots got a one ammo resupply. They have five shots now to work with. It's like green team is just kind of setting up on the second floor, getting some resupply so they can go kill off the rest of the red team. At this point, it is most likely green team's game, as everyone except for the medic has almost more than 20 lives. It, in a niche situation, however, green team could come back like from that. Eric, a red team a could come shots off. Could come back for that, but feeder has just died, but that was later deemed at the end of the game as a follow. Um, so that could have been potentially a game-changing penalty if the refs decided it was. That could be grounds for replaying the entire game, but they decided it wasn't. I uh, think you guys were done. We, we yeah, we, Caleb and I talked amongst ourselves that it probably wouldn't have changed the end outcome. Green t Red team with a combined five lives currently. If if Rose Jasper could meet up with Poe and then fill him up no. on lives, that fill him she up on died. shots, that would have been able a heavy could come back and win that but rose jasper just died and now red team does not physically have enough shots to kill off the green team yeah and they're at a total of three lives we have c train sitting at one as well as poe they're heavy sitting at two they both have over 10 shots though so they can get a couple more points um it looks like poe has all five of his missiles still yeah same with same with kiwi however they both all got all of their missiles but uh -huh. With six more special points, which wouldn't, which is not currently possible, sadly, Kiwi could have gotten her third or fourth nuke of that game. I'm lost track. Um, something big, however, is Death Spot 62 not getting his bases even at this point, which is something you want to do, especially once you hear the 60-second counter going down. You want to be, you want to get your bases if you haven't already. 
so you don't end up like Sergeant Tucker and Rose Jasper in this game where they're dying with only one base each, which if they had both gotten their bases, that's a thousand extra points per person. So that would have been a 2,000 point boost if they had remembered to get their bases. Sometimes in these situations when you lose the game, you always want to try and close the gap as much as you can so that you can still have a chance of winning back the match. And that is game, however, with with uh, Greeley Goblins getting the Elim on Calrissians with, and winning by winning by 9,000 points plus the bonus 10,000 for an elimination, which, if you didn't know, if you eliminate the enemy team, you get a 10,000 bonus points when you're considered for that match. Which is why it's so, so crucial to get your bases in case that happens to you and you elim the other team in the next game and you don't close the gap enough, the other team can still take the match even if they're eliminated. And it looks like the Fear Turkey survived that with one whole life. Score difference is approximately 8,700 points with the 10,000 Elim, meaning that the Calrissians, which would now be on green team for this next game, because after a match you switch colors, the Calrissians would have to win by 8,800 and an Elim, or by 18,000 without an Elim. Much more likely would be the 8,000 and an Elim. I don't know if that's possible in our arena. Probably not, unless your commander Unless your is, medic gets shot literally zero times, I don't think it's possible to score that many points off of a team. Very true. Alrighty, so it looks like we've switched sides now. The lineup is the same, however, except that Rose Jasper is now the medic for Calrissians, and C Train is the ammo, and Sergeant Tucker, their sub, is the scout. However, the lineup for Greeley Goblins is exactly the same. Never mind, I lied, it's not. Fear Turkey is on the heavy. Oh, yes, because Ryan uh, Phantom had to, di well, he disappeared between these games, so, so they had to pull in a yes, sub. We, we subbed in a Mimosaurus. Who, who is, is under now Cheetosaurus. Cheetos. Uh, who is their medic. Morningstar is still the ammo, but Josiah, the fair turkey, is the heavy, which came as a major surprise to us on the Calrissians because... I'm sure that was not fun to deal with at all. Looks like the entire green team is bunched up in the closet. Red team has full control of the third floor. Um, Ex except for like, the commander feeder chilling yes. up in the chamber, but Josiah is making sure to get Pushed him out of there. Real quick. Looks like Kiwi just got in and reset, reset all of everyone. the team. That's Pushing them all the way off. Looks like not even the team the, split, went downstairs. That's bad Not news. even 90 seconds into the game, and Kiwi is one special point away from her first nuke. That's she did insane. get a base at the start of the game, but that's still very quick when it comes to getting the nuke off. And there she has her first nuke already. Looks like Perotto tried to come up and get some shots, and AJ did not put her down. Rose Jasper, the green team medic, is at 11 lives the already. The red team is just annihilating them on that ramp. C-Train, the ammo, is at five lives. Feeder, the commander, is at three. They're all playing so low on lives because they can't... They haven't been able to reestablish a point to resupply without getting just pressured out wherever yeah, they're, wherever they're going. They're going to get down on the first floor and get some sh lives in them. It looks like however they're Death on first Spot floor. Shot. They're on first floor. They're getting some. They got a double or two in, but Despot was able to poke, figure out where they were, and Immediately get them moving. Immediately disrupt their double chain. And now the resupplies are set are split up while Caleb's going and getting bases, and Alicia's currently currently hiding. They found each other again, but. By the looks of it, Josiah Still and Kiwi, getting popped. Fear Turkey and Kiwi are both on first floor pushing them. This would have been a great opportunity for either of the three shots on green team to push upstairs as both of the real firepower of red team are on first floor. I believe all five of us were down on the first floor actually, Eric, other than looks like we have Cheetosaurus on switchback. Cheetosaurus has not lost a life yet and Feeder realizing both three shots are down there pushing up. Getting the first shot into Cheetosaurus, but keeping in mind to keep his trail, but his entire team is still downstairs getting reset to death. There's Looks like Kiwi's still putting shots into his resupplies, and Josiah is now chasing Feeder off of the third floor back down onto the first floor so he can maintain some pressure. Probably out of gas at this point. Fear Turkey needs some shots and some lives. Looks like Feeder's still hung up in the fun box trying to get just any foothold that he can. The green team is really struggling right now. Kiwi is... An entire nuke ahead of Feeder right now, to the point, so she could drop a nuke. It's like Fear Turkey's running. She could almost drop box. her second nuke before Feeder could, but Fear Turkey pushing Feeder off a third, but Feeder using the trails effectively to keep his foothold on third. Kiwi poking in on the resupplies, and uh, Caleb is Sea Train is just slowly walking away as he dies. 
That generally signals the end of a game. If the ammo is the first person to die, it's very, very hard to come back as you don't have a lot of shots left anymore. It's almost impossible if the entire team didn't already have a lot of shots to begin with. Which, fortunately, we were all above 20 shots, but that's not enough when the uh, red team medic is still at 15 lives. Yeah, and it looks like that Sergeant Tucker is trying to just run around and survive now. He's up in the fun box. Looks like Cheetahsaurus is standing there. Kiwi's dropping her double nuke, which brings Sergeant Tucker down to one life, feed her down to two, and Poe currently is chilling at eight lives, the most on the team. Morningstar resets to kill Sergeant Tucker. Feeder just now getting enough special points for his first nuke. However, he has not gotten any of his bases yet, which... Unless we have Death Spot running downstairs, either to get his bases, I would hope. He doesn't have either of them yet. And we're Feeder getting another shot into Cheetahsaurus, but then dropping a nuke at one life. Will he get it off? It looks like we have And he does, but they do get a couple of resupplies off, and that probably a nuke going off there is just kind of showing that it can. It's not really going to change the outcome of the game. Just trying to score those extra points, close the gap a little bit, but I don't think it's going to happen. Ooh, like Fear Turkey have... getting the shot, killing blow into Feeder as he's trying to missile the la his last base, meaning that's a 1,000-point deficit he's not going to be able to get back what after that missile. was the last missile. person on the green team? It looks like he's just trying to survive at this point. He's hung up on the red ramp. He's only at five lives. Three he's lives now his, with a missile. Throwing his hands up in the air, kind of giving up here. He's got three lives left and five minutes to go. Most likely not going to survive, Two but lives. with a good hiding spot, it could happen. But looks like Poe has kind of given up a little bit and He's letting just the holding team, his phaser up. letting the enemy team reset him to death. And that is a five-minute elimination from the coming from the Greeley Goblins. Greeley Goblins, completely annihilating the Calrissians with the lowest scoring person on the Goblins, outscoring the highest scoring person on the Calrissians. By 20 points, our medic outscored your heavy. Ouch. Yeah, that's, a, that's, that's what's commonly known as decimation. Alrighty, so it looks like the Greeley Goblins took both of those games that match. Winning by 12,000 that game with an elimination bonus, adding that to a 22K up point score ahead from that match. Including meaning, the 18K. Meaning they won that match by over 40,000 total points. We definitely could have done better with some better communication and actually keeping our resupplies together. It's one of the problems with putting C-Train as a resupply. While he will do a lot of damage as an ammo or commander, the question is, is how much is he actually resupply? Which, credit to him, he died fairly quickly, but we still all had a lot of shots even after he died. So Which that's surprising. Good job on his part, but probably should have kept better track of his medic.